Hello, my soccer universe for part two of my six part women's world cup jersey review. Uh, in this one, we don't we see other manufacturers as well. Uh, the previous one we only saw Nike, now we get a few Adidas in there as well. We have a Nike and we have two Nikes, so it's kind of a mark. Uh, I was we have of course in there Germany, Spain, we have South Africa in there, we have China in there, so uh, a lot of interesting nations. And I was long arguing which one should I wear. Should I wear Germany? I've been wearing it a little bit lately. Shall I wear um, Spain? Also a lot. So let's give this new South Africa shirt its first outing on the channel. I haven't made any video with it except my unpacking video. And that's that. Let's get right to it. Uh, just a second. Ground rules again. I will give you grades at the end after I review every jersey. Um, I also will go by it by the way they are seated in the group and not by the order that they were in the pots, just to stay consistent. Uh, makes it also a little bit easier for me to remember them. Now, let's start with Germany, the two time world champions, which we can all see the crest. They have two stars up there. This home jersey might well be the best at the entire World Cup. And I don't even like the German flag all over. But this is done in such a tasteful, great manner. I absolutely love it. This is the first time that I see a Germany jersey. And I wish I would have it. That's how much I like this one. Now, the pattern we all know is kind of a um, zoomed-in version of the famous World Cup 1990 pattern, but what most people don't know is the first team that actually won a title in this design was not the German men, but the German women with wearing men's shirts in 1989, the European Championship. They won that one in that jersey. So, it's not a reference to the 1990 look. It's it, they reference the same shirt, but they reference a women's team. And for that reason, I love it even more. If the German man would have wear, would have been wearing something similar to this, not this grayish version of the flag, but really put the color colors in, it would have already been a better jersey. But this one is just great because it's not having this pattern that you know goes up here. It is, it is there, but it's there in a nice way. And you have just this middle portion that gives you the German flag across. And then um, on the crest side, there's a little bit more. Absolutely, absolutely love this one. Um, yes, I'm not a fan. And I'm probably one of the few, but I'm not a fan of the original jersey. Um, and I see him a few things. I think if the color was uh, black on this one, it would look even better. Uh, also, the, maybe the pattern could continue on the sleeves, especially on the left sleeve. Uh, would definitely work better. But just the idea have, of have, have, have him there, I, I just can't help myself but really, really, really liking this jersey. Even the back is plain, but if you put names and numbers on there, it's not as bad. Um, to me, this is a 10 star. This is a 10 star. Uh, I think almost everything looks perfect. This is the perfect version of this uh, whole design idea to me. So I cannot help but give this a perfect score. To me, this is the best star, uh, the best uh, jersey at the World Cup. I absolutely love this one. However, the away jersey is a completely different story. First of all, the German women have been wearing red now as a secondary color for a long time. So I don't mind red as a color choice. It's actually one of the national colors. I we may get in discussion about the accent colors. I think white, no, nope. you should use a yellow or a black there. Uh, I have to say it straight out like that. The other thing is that while here it doesn't look that bad, you know, it's this red with a few seemingly washed on or a little bit moldy pieces, it looks like. So there's some uh, brighter and darker red might not look bad we will see this a lot this is the new uh, arida stock uh jersey that comes in all kinds of colors this is basically teamwork wear with uh, the crest popped on and that's that very unimaginative and as i said we will see the, even this video another version of this one for that i i have to give this four stars it it, it looks boring and they actually the, even the colors they didn't choose right um, and I would have loved if they would choose the template into the Contibu template from 2018 with all these uh, similar the checkers on there like Sweden had and Belgium had. This doesn't look good. 
And you know, it's not only that it's a template, but also the colors are wrong. So I'm sticking with my four stars here. The China home jersey, that's the only jersey in this uh, review that we have already seen. And I'm linking up here um, to my review of the at the Asian Cup. The China home jersey here in the women's version, it doesn't look all that bad, but what I'm missing you know, it's basically the France jersey, but instead of navy and light blue, it is red with this uh, with yellow, which does make some sense. But I think this yellow bothers me too much, and I think it could have been done a little bit better. And it has, yeah, maybe you can say it's fireworks, but it still has too little connection with um, China with me. I like the crest, but I will stay with my rating of six stars, and you can see more me babbling on there if you watch the review that I just linked above. Completely different story is the Chinese away jersey. This gives the Germany shirt a run for its money. Um, the Germany shirt I like because it's a classic rethinking of the design. This jersey is just wonderful. The only thing is that it's gray. That's the only thing that I, I dislike but it makes actually sense here. Gray with orange is not the Chinese colors and that's the only, really the only thing, but I will even look past it. You have the black collar in this new uh, Adidas women's design. We will see that, uh, not Adidas, Nike women's design. We have um, orange sleeve cuffs. We have the crest a little bit discolored and then we have this great overall pattern. And it's not a dragon pattern, it's actually uh, birds on there. So it's, it is designed for the women. And, I'm still mad that the Chinese men cannot wear their black jersey with the dragon on there. The Chinese women got this. It's wonderful. And if you look at the back, I mean, the pattern continues. I'm sorry, even though it's great, this might be the best looking great jersey I've ever seen. I also give this 10 stars. And you note that the really great jersey at the Women's World Cup. Spain falls right into the cat category, although this one is a little bit more meh. Remember the 1994 Spain home jersey? This is basically uh, the women's version for that, a little bit understated. Remember the 2018 men's home jersey up there? Also tried to copy this pattern. This is a little bit more faithful to it, but you know, it just loses all the color. It's a red jersey with a little bit navy, a little bit yellow. It's not bad. I don't know why we have to have all these um, horizontal lines going through. Um, but yeah, I would have wished for a little bit more color, you know, make make at least a middle one. You have two navies here, make them with a middle one yellow or something like that. You know, give it a little bit more character. Um, also, you know, having the Spanish crest, I mean, it's not discolored, but uh, it's not monochromatic, but it's a little bit more discolored. It's, again, it, stay, it stays with the color scheme, but you know, I like the full color crystal. Just that, that much better. And ever since Spain has issued monochromatic crests, they are not winning tournaments anymore. Listen to me, Spain, you gotta go back to full colored crests. And you are here on a good step. Uh, but it's not the finished product. The back is, of course, plain, fe don't featuring any pattern. As I said, um, I know what they're doing here. I'm just not all that excited about it. And for that reason, it's not horrible either. I want to give this um, seven stars. Yeah, seven stars. And now the away jersey. Are you surprised? You recognize the pattern. That's of course the same as with the Germany away jersey. Actually here it looks a little bit better because we have it white, we have the red on the side and we have the navy uh, collar. And it here is the stripes on the side but on the, on the top which makes it a little bit look better. But again it has this kind of splashed on slightly dirty feel to it that I don't like. It's a little bit unimaginative. You have a monochromatic crest to fit a little bit with the color scheme and so blah blah blah. It's also not great. Um, the colors are fresh and for that I can bump it up to, uh, let's give it, yeah, I like that the colors a little bit. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm Abelinian, give this six stars. 
And last but not least, we get to South Africa. They are not expected too much at this World Cup, however. And you know, this is a Puma South Africa jersey, now South Africa is with Nike. These kits look great, to be honest. I really, really like, like, I mean, note how when they had Puma, the Federation crest was out here, now it's in the center. I actually like this order a little bit better, but of course Nike wants to be in the, on the uh, proper right. It is yellow and it has this green striping effect on it, where I just, the only thing that it that works me is that it looks so similar to what Australia was wearing um, at the Men's World Cup. Um, and for that reason, it is not, it doesn't seem as original to me. And given that South Africa is a rainbow nation, I really wish that they would put again more colors on the jersey, just yellow and green. We have many of these. Uh, here they have at least a little bit black, but I would even go uh, pump, pop, pop in some uh, blue and red. The South Africa flag is one of the best uh, in the world, has all the colors in there. Use this on the shirt somehow. Um, so as, as I said, it is a great looking shirt, but it just there are too many similarities with Australia, which we have already seen. And yeah, they were released at the same time, but at least a little bit more. I like it actually better than the Australia shirt, but there's just something in me that says this cannot be higher than a seven star shirt. Sorry to say. The away shirt, however, is a completely different story. Uh, <laughs> I love it, honestly. It is green, but with so many lines, it's a little bit uh, dizziness in inducing. But uh, again, I wish there was a little bit more color. But I like that the different shades of green and all this um, striping going on. That looks great. Also, uh, it makes this Protea crest, which I have here as well, a little bit better version, I think. Uh, pop a little bit more than it was on the home jersey because it's uh, predominantly. Um, you know, with the yellow outline, it makes it pop a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I think this is, it, it is a unique, I mean, it's the same as the men's, but it's very unique. And for that, I'm going to give it eight stars. It has its flaws and you see, it's not even close to being the best one in this group. This is a darn good looking group. Unfortunately, the Chinese women will wear way too much their red jersey. And I'm afraid that the uh, South Africans will also wear way too much the yellow one. But, you know, at least Germany and Spain, their home jerseys are the classic ones. Anyway, let me know which jerseys you like and dislike here. Um, whether you agree, whether you disagree, I really want to hear what you think. Give me your rating for each of these jerseys if you have the time. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, uh, especially if you want to see more of the jerseys that the Women's World Cup reviewed. And also if you want to see the previous uh, jersey review for Group A. Group C, you'll see tomorrow another set of quite nice jerseys. But we'll see. Up until then, goodbye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.